throughout the wilds of the internet, um, which I spend probably more than is reasonably healthy for my mental state uh, amount of time in, I encounter some strange things. Some things that people say that are weird, um, absurd, ignorant. But uh, in a conversation I was having uh, earlier this week, uh, a person said that it's a sin to deface a Bible in the context of the fact that I underline, I highlight, I circle things, I write in the margins, that, that it's a sin. And I followed that like, wait, what, like it, who told you that? And they said, this person said um, that it's in the Bible. And I then implored the person to, to actually show me an instance in the Bible where it says, don't write, highlight, uh, underline in your Bible, which it simply doesn't say that. It doesn't say that anywhere. Person came back with a, an article from, uh, I think it was Pathios maybe, but it was featuring an article of the Pope commenting on the practice and he said that it's disgusting to which um, I replied first off Protestant Reformation is a thing right I don't care what the Pope has to say about really much of anything and then the second thing is that that's not the Bible the Bible doesn't say that and saying the Pope said it is not the equivalent of saying that the Bible says that but anyway um, it ended up culminating with them threatening to burn me at the stake for being a heretic. So, I don't know what to say about that. But it, it happened. That's a thing that did occur. And what I want to say about it, first off, it's not a sin. If you want to highlight, if you want to underline, you want to draw boxes, circles, um, Margin notes, there are Bibles that actually published with wide margins so that you can take notes in them. Like that's simply, like, do all those things. Use multiple colors if you need to uh, in order to keep things um, organized. And like, do all those things if it helps you. If having a clean page is better for you, great, whatever, not, a, not my issue. Get after it, dog. The important thing is that you're reading and that you're attempting to commit to memory, and that you're working it through, and you're allowing it to work through you, that's what's important. Um, but, like, no, underline. To like, do all those things, because I find it, yeah, I've always found it to be extraordinarily helpful. So, um, yeah, it's not a sin. All, and then as a sidebar a little bit, who cares what the Pope has to say about anything? Like, even Catholics are maybe like that. The current Pope, as well as the one before it, him, um, they're basically nuts. Like they say a lot of things that are just off the wall, insane, contradicting um, the actual doctrines of the Catholic Church. Um, they did this elaborate thing to celebrate the. 500 year anniversary of the Protestant Reformation, which doesn't make sense. Um, they just, like, it's either blatant ignorance or it's intent to mislead. Like, that's the summary of their, and then all the stuff with, like, clearly covering up allegations of sexual misconduct among the clergy, like, there's not a whole lot of reasons to listen to what the Pope has to say about anything. So, especially on things that are not in any way relating to Catholic worship. So, I mean, just, yeah. Thanks to the comment, doesn't apply. And the last thing, um, just really quickly, is... Um, don't just believe something because you found it on the internet. I mean, that should, duh, right, duh. But quite honestly, just because somebody wrote an article 
just because somebody quoted a famous name, just because someone linked to their YouTube channel, like none of those things are authoritative. And you should not take them as authoritative. Do the work yourself. Actually take the time, research the claim, research the source, and um, do your due diligence. So, uh, I guess, and write in your Bibles because it's not a sin.